Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Humbled Mumbles here, and I have a quick surprise for you. I'm sitting here, and our day is finally over. Schoolwork is done, and we're relaxing. We're getting ready to unwind and, you know, start prepping for dinner. And I'm scrolling through my sports stuff. You know, I love my sports still. And I come across this video. This video that you guys see on the screen right here. This video is amazing. Um, what we are about to witness right now is phenomenal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you watch this video full screen. And then we'll come back and we will talk about what we just saw. Okay, welcome back. So, pretty amazing, right? I mean, let's not even talk about uh, this gentleman here dribbling. I don't care about the dribbling. This does nothing for the dunk. I don't get why these kids think it's cool. I guess maybe they just want to look cooler throwing the pass or whatnot. It is what it is. Listen, I can do what he can do. If you don't believe me, meet me in the gym. I'm not saying I'm going to be the best player in the gym, but I played basketball my whole life. I was a point guard. I mean, I can still dribble. You know, I maybe only run up and down the court once or twice before I pass out and need a timeout or, you know, a sub, you know, and I ain't talking about subway sub. I mean, substitution, but I can do what this guy's doing. But this gentleman right here, can you believe that? This, this is just unreal. The timing, the timing, and, and, and just how many times did they try that before they got it? I don't even care. The fact that they pulled that off, that is pretty ingenious. And that right there, that's going to win a dunk contest. If somebody could have saved that for, like, the dunk contest, holy moly. I mean, again, like I said, I, I don't care about the dribbles. The dribbles, this is nothing. This is just, I mean, that's literally just, that's just, that's, that's just basketball there. That's just basketball. And it, doesn't, it wasn't even anything really, really fancy. I mean, I don't mean to bash on this kid, but, I mean, it's basically he, behind the back. Through the legs, behind the back. I mean, you know, and then the bounce pass. Now, this this is interesting here, the bounce between the legs. That's that To me, this is tougher to get the right bounce, to get that ball to bounce up, than, you know, than all that dribbling. But anyways, this guy, the timing to run by the ball and reach your hand back there. But then if you watch closely, he's pulling his hand forward, you know, to meet the ball. He's starting his dunk without the ball. You know, that's impressive. He didn't wait till the ball touched his hand and then started to come forward. His hand is actually coming forward. Then the ball meets the hand and then the dunk. That was impressive. This is so impressive. So impressive. So impressive. So that was that was amazing. That was amazing. I would like to know just, you know, hey, practice makes perfect. I have no problem with them going you know, a hundred times to try to get this done. Dude Perfect does it. All these people that do these trick shots on the internet do it. It's not like they do that on one take. You know what I mean? So practice makes perfect. I'm all for that. I come from a sports mentality, a coach's mentality. But man, this was beautiful. We'll give it one more. Let's 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 give it one more good look. Holy moly. I mean I'm mean, we're even gonna let the kid let's let the kid have his moment in the sun. Let's do this. That is amazing. Share this with a family member. Share this with a friend that loves sports. This this is this video, that was that's probably one of the most um, ingenious dunks I've seen in a long while because let's let, let, I'm gonna be honest with you. The dunk contests and everything it, it's just getting really old. I mean, nothing's really inventive anymore. Um, I think the last really kind of like inventive dunk contest I saw was that one between um, uh, Aaron Gordon and oh, uh, 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 is, it, is it Zach Le Zach Levine? Zach, Le if I'm saying Zach Levine, I may be saying his name wrong. Um, and I haven't seen a true. And y'all are gonna hate me on this. I love basketball, but I haven't seen a true like mastery of the dunk contest since Vince Carter. 
And Vince Carter put up those dunks. Oh, my goodness. And I got to watch Vince Carter on a weekly basis because he's from the town I live in, Daytona Beach. Um, I played with him quite often. Uh, we would play, you know, a, a quite often. I'd play with him quite often, against him, with him. Um, phenomenal basketball player. Holy moly, the dude's amazing. Um, and he's still in the league doing his thing, so that's props to him as well. His his dedication to keeping his body fit and, you know, just the business side of things. And um, so I haven't seen a dunk con, a dunker since him, you know, just take over a dunk contest. So I don't even know why they do the dunk contest anymore. And, and the people they picked this year... I mean, three of them I can see, but that fourth pick, I ain't going to name no names because I don't like to call people out, but I don't know what they're thinking putting him in the dunk contest. But anyways, guys, that this was this was pretty spectacular. This was amazing. So um, I'm going to leave it with you one more time. So I know you want to see it again. I want to see it again. I'm going to pull my son in here, and I'm going to show it to him as well. What a phenomenal dunk. Holy moly. Here we go. Wow. Wow. What's that say? Rob, good pass. Max, slam it. Okay, I guess he drew up the play. I guess he drew up a play. But anyways, that was phenomenal. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I know a lot of you guys probably don't even care, you know, about the whole, uh, you know, don't really care too much for the sports aspect of things. Uh, I love sports. I think sports is a great way for us to show our kids. For one, let them get out there and exercise, but at the same time, show them how to mature and be the people that we want them to be. Because sports, even though it's all about winning, you still gotta learn how to win. People, some people don't know how to win. And yeah, I also have to learn how to lose. And I'm fully under the belief that you can't, you got to be a good loser before you become a good winner. You know, you got to win with humble. You got to be humble when you win. You know, and then and you got to be gracious in your defeat. You know, learn from those defeats, learn from those victories. That's that's truly what I believe in. I am not one of those guys that's going to buy one of those plaques and basketballs I see on Facebook that say, "Oh, to my son, you're never going to lose. You're always no. That's wrong." My son's absolutely going to lose in many aspects of life. It's what he does and what he learns from those losses is what's going to turn him into the man he's going to be or the daughter that my daughter's going to be. I'm not just trying to single out my one kid. I'm just giving you a general idea. So there you go, guys. Thanks a lot. My name is Humble Mumbles. I hope you liked that. If you did, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my Patreon. Um, and until next time, guys, you know, let's go hit the gym and practice this. Not me. I'm old. Uh, so... Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.